Hello everyone, welcome to 3D Motive. My name is Ryan Rabot, and today we're going to talk about how to do some basic retopology in using 3D Coat. What we have here is a high-res sculpt of a character head that we could send off to an animator to do some quick expressions or to do some quick motion tests. Uh, no like real skin pores or detailing has been done, just we got the main form in there uh, just to send off to somebody else to work with and then we can continue sculpting as, uh, as they work with it. So what we want to do is we want to bring this guy down to a uh, reasonable number of polygons that an animator would be able to actually play with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this guy into 3D Coat, but first we need to reduce his topology a little bit because 3D Coat can't really handle too many polygons. It can, it's pretty good most of the time. But I generally try to keep it around 200,000, 250,000 just for performance on the computer. So what I do is I take this 1 million polygon model, go through Decimation Master, bring it, bring it down to about 200,000, which I've done here. Looks almost exactly the same. Export it. And then we're going to pop over into 3D Coat. So when 3D Coat first opens up, you're going to see this menu here, which is pretty pretty well laid out. What we want to do is we want to perform retopology. And then we need to import our reference mesh, which is our high resolution mesh. Grab our decimated file. And it will drop it to the to the window for you. I've reduced the uh, the brightness on the screen just so it's easier for me to see, but we can easily dial that back up using these handy dandy little sliders right up here. And then I'm going to hit 1 to give me a little bit of better lighting on the back side for when I'm playing with uh, for when I'm playing with this guy. Some quick viewport tools. One does the light. One is shaded. Two is flat shaded. Three is a darker flat shaded. Four is the wireframe. So most of the time I work on one. As far as the tools that I use when I'm, retopo when I'm doing retopo, first I'm going to set up my symmetry plane and I'm going to do symmetry across the x-axis which is the axis that it comes in on from ZBrush. And if you look inside here, it shows you the axis that it is working with. Next, I'm going to do a basic add split over here on this menu. And we're going to just draw on our first polygon. Now, because we're trying to set this guy up for animation, what we want to do is we want to follow guidelines, which you can find online pretty quickly and pretty easily for basic um, animation topology so that we are making sure to work on this properly. If you would like to work on the other side of the mesh instead of this instead of the side that I'm working on you can work you can hit the invert mirror button and you can work on this side of the mesh. I'm going to delete this polygon. Because sometimes one side's a little easier to see. Next I'm going to switch to my quad tool. And my quad tool lets me just quickly draw on polygons. In the loop that I want to, in the loop that I want to go, use. So I've created a nice edge flow for the outside of the lips. Next what we can do is we can split this ring to add additional loops or use our brush tool to move things around. Now the reason that I like 3D Coat as opposed to doing something in ZBrush is that this brush tool lets me edit the topology as I'm working on it instead of later on. So I can take this and very very quickly drop in what I need. Another important note is that when creating this topology you want to add the largest areas topology first such as this area here 
and then split ring later for when you need to add more geometry. You'll save yourself a lot of time this way. Use our brush tool. So let me be, I will be right back with a more completed retopo. Alright, so here we are continuing our retopology of this model. What you'll notice is that I have maintained the loops around the lips, loops up through the lap lines, which we will run through, the, through to the chin, and our loops around the eyes in order to have good animation topology. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here and we're going to continue a loop, continue adding loops using our quad tool. And the beauty of 3D coat is that you can be a little sloppy with it. You don't actually have to be too terribly accurate. I'm getting a little bit too much distance between these polygons, so I'm just going to split this ring. And then I'm going to come in here with my brush and make the edits that I need to in order to maintain good topology. What you'll notice that I did there is you, if you hold shift with your brush tool, it will average out the vertices and allow for you to get a pretty good match to the model underneath. So what's left to do is just to finish this model, go all the way around the face, go around the chin, get, get loops around here, loops around the back, export an OBJ and pass it off. What we can do is we can pass this off to an animator, he can do some expression tests, he can do some quick animation tests while we bake out maps or continue working on the model, do some detailing, all that kind of stuff. Alright, so here we are with our retopoed model. See that we ran everything around the back and all that kind of stuff that we talked about. It is ready to be exported and sent off. But first, the main tools that we used was the add split to add that first polygon or to split a couple of polygons here and there. The quad tool, which was our main workhorse tool, just kind of went around and did that like everywhere. And then we used the brush tool to make, to edit and manipulate the topology as we were working on it. And holding shift with that let us smooth things out. We used the delete polygon tool for a couple things here and there just to get rid of something when we need it needed. And the split ring to add a little bit more geometry across the whole edge loop. Now all that's left to do is file, export retopo mesh, after we go to our retopo menu and apply symmetry and then turn symmetry off. If I don't do that then I only get half the model. Now we export retopo. And then we can import this into ZBrush, Maya, 3 Studio Max, wherever you want to take it. Unwrap it, texture it, take it in X normal, bake it out, whatever you want to do. Alright, so thank you for watching. My name again was Ryan Rebeau. Check out more stuff on 3D Motive, and I'll talk to you guys next time.